I'm Wendy hughes Jalen with GreenspacesRealEstate.com and Westside Green Living with Wendy. And I'm here today to talk about um, challenging your dog with their food and um, keeping them interested. This is Sophia, who is taking a time out just because she knows I'm not quite ready to do what I'm going to do. But I went to Scraps Dog Bakery to um, use up my punch card because I finally earned my $25 back. And they finally got in the dog food puzzles. And this is designed by someone in Sweden, and there's several different kinds of puzzles, but the idea is that you hide the food, it's in something in the puzzle, and the dog has to find it. About a year ago, I hired a trainer uh, to work with me to help Sophia, because she had some challenges with being scared of bugs. And uh, she asked me, um, how do you train, or how do you challenge her mentally, and I, I really wasn't at that point. So. Um, now she has to get her food, um, she has to work for all of her food. She has to get out of a Kong or out of a Kibble Ball, or I'll just throw it on the floor and she has to hunt for it, which is really good for them. And she actually seems to prefer that over eating out of a container. So, so I got this great, um, this is called the Dog Brick, and this is a medium challenge. And this is what it looks like. And it's got little, little cubbies. Um, that slide back and forth that the dog has to use either their nose or their foot to open. And then you can make it even more challenging by s using the center ones and putting these bones in that have to be moved. They either have to pot out or use their nose. And you start with it kind of offset so it's not so hard. Um, I've only done this with Sophia once. Um, I did read the instructions all the way. I actually did this up on the counter and then put it on the floor for her and showed her how to do it. And they said when you're first starting, you actually should show the dog as you're putting the food in and then let them find it. So um, we're going to try that today. And um, so I'll put this on the floor to get ready. And then I'll show you the kind of food I'm using. You can use this with regular kibble, but if you use a high value food, it actually works better because it makes them um, really excited. So I got this um, these natural balance um, rolls of solid food that you can, sl some people just slice it and give it to their dogs. I cut up into little pieces and throw them on the floor. Um, or Sophie is like very excited. So I'm just going to cut off a couple of slices. This is, this is her, this is one of her meals. Actually it's probably too much for a meal. Just take, it's like a, a salami, just take the wrapper off. And then I just make it into little pieces. And so one of the things I also challenge Sophia with is um, W-A-I-T. And she's very good at just sitting still and doing that. So we're going to try that now as I fill the dog brick. Okay. So Sophia, sit. Wait. Havana. Don't challenge the dog. So I'm going to let her see me fill the little cubbies. And see, she's, she's very much paying attention to what I'm doing. When her ears are up like that, that's because she's very alert. And then I'm going to push these in part way so they're partially open so she can really smell the food. And then what they suggest is you command the dog to find it. We're not going to use these right now. Sophia, find it. And you can see she knows, no, this is not for you, no, no. Over here. I'll, I'll help her a little bit. And it's going to take a while until she's probably completely self-sufficient on this. Oop, she did that one by herself. That's good. She's getting the idea. Ooh, perfect. So that's two now that she's done totally by herself. Oh, excellent. Good girl. And you should praise them so that they, uh... Don't worry about the cat. There's more here. <laughs> There's another one. I think there's some over here, and I think there's another one right here. Good girl, good girl. Okay, sit. 
And so we're gonna we're gonna do it again. And I'm gonna make no sit. You have to wait. I forgot to tell her to wait. So um, that's my fault. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have these closed all the way. Wait. And then I'm also gonna put the bones on the middle section. Wait. And these ones don't have air holes in them, but the bone bones have little air holes in them. Wait. Good girl. Wait. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the first two that are closest to her the easy way, and then the other two I'm actually gonna put in all the way. This is how you change up the game and also challenge them more. Find it. Or I say okay too, that's a word that she's actually really um, trained with. So she's trying to get it out with her tongue, she hasn't quite figured it out. So now she has to actually clear the center before she can get out the side. Use your foot. I don't, I don't want to help her too soon. But if she starts to lose interest because it's too hard, I'll help her. Good girl! Good girl! She's really getting this. Here. Good girl. Find it. Find it. The tone of my voice when I say find it or okay or something like that um, is a very positive tone, so it encourages them to do activity. And they'll keep offering different kinds of activities until they hit the right thing. And it, I'm just gonna let her work it out in her mind. I think these ones are in. Oh, there is something there. Okay, here, Sophia, here, here, here. So she actually could pull it towards her with her face, with her nose. It's like having a fifth foot. Okay. Here. Find it. Good girl. Good girl. You have to move this first. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get it. You have to use your foot. Let me do this part first. Alright, so it's a little too challenging, so I'm going to help her out. open a little bit she seems to get the idea to go ahead and open it herself so now she's gonna check to make sure there isn't any more but their nose is really good and they actually know when there isn't any more so so that's only her second try with the dog brick and um, I'm really happy uh, to have something new to add to her repertoire because it's been about a year since uh, she's got the Kongs down really well and um, I'll, I'll do another video sometime showing how I also challenge her with other food uh, food puzzles so uh, this is Sophia the dog brick I got it at Scraps Dog Bakery uh, and Boutique in Seattle. It's at 2200 Westlake um, at the corner of Denny and Westlake down by the South Lake Union um, rail, uh, trolley car. So um, anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.